it's Addie, and today we are watching Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> I'm so nervous for this movie. I, I am not lying when I say, I kid you not, I have never seen a horror movie in my life. Horror is not my thing. I don't want it to ever become my thing. I don't see myself enjoying any aspect of horror movies at all. Um, so this is going to be something. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Um, I did watch the trailer for this because I, I don't think that I could walk into this movie without having an idea of what I was walking into. So I did watch the trailer. Um, I think I'll be creeped out for sure. Um, mm -hmm. I think I will be disturbed, but you know we're going to do it. I have heard it's a great film, so I, uh, I'm, I'm ready to watch this great film. Um, I'm honestly just stalling because I'm so nervous to watch this movie. I think I probably sat in this chair for like 10 minutes before even starting to record because I'm nervous. So, so we're just gonna do it. You know, you know, it's only a two hour movie, so it's only two hours of my life. And it's only a movie. I mean, there are still serial killers um, in the world. Um, that That is a thing. But we're just not going to think about it uh, right now. We're just going to say that this is just a movie. Um, okay, just going to jump in. This is The Silence of the Lambs. I'm so scared. All right. Oh, you're by yourself. You're totally going to die. I'm scared for you. Darling. She's not Why is even this shot creepy? Why? I think I'm just on edge. I think that's all it is. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Crawford. Uh, jobs come up, and I thought about you. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody. Most of them have been happy to talk to us. You spook easily, Starling? I spook easily. I want you to go after him again today in the asylum. The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the cannibal. Mm hmm I've heard that name. So if he won't cooperate, I want just straight reporting. Copy of our questionnaire and a special ID for you. All right, this is kind of a big project. Not just an errand. Be very careful with Hannibal Lecter. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Never forget what he is. Oh, he's a monster. You know, we get a lot Things of detectives here, but I must say <laughs> I can't ever remember one as attractive. Um, that's inappropriate. Would you be in Baltimore overnight? This can be quite a fun town if you have the right guide. No, inappropriate. Let's make this quick then. Oh my, does he hate us? Thinks I'm his nemesis. Well, I, I don't necessarily like you right now, so far. I don't believe Lecter's even seen a woman in eight years. Are you ever his taste, so to speak? Yeah. Do not touch the glass. Do not approach the glass. Use the sliding food carrier. No exceptions. On July 8, 1981, he complained of chest pains and was taken to the dispensary. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. His pulse never got above 85. Whoa. Even when he ate her tongue. Uh, I mean, I know for certain my pulse is over 85 right now. All of the sounds just, like, add to the in intensity. Ugh. Oh, so she's just locked in, too. How fun. Well, we know which one he's in. His cell is definitely different. Oh my gosh. Hi. May I speak with you? Just waiting. You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? May I see your credentials? Certainly. Oh, he did give her a fake badge. Okay. Closer, please. Is there any personal information on that? You're not real FBI, are you? I'm still in training at the Academy. I'm here to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. Sit, please. Didn't they say he's a psychiatrist or psychologist? He knows what he's doing too. What did Miggs say to you? He hissed at you. I can smell your c Yeah, he did say that. You use Evian skin cream. What? You can smell that? Did you do all these drawings, Doctor? That is the Duomo scene from the Belvedere. Memory is what I have instead of a view. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed. Busy hunting that no one, Buffalo Bill. How would he know about Buffalo Bill? Why do you think he removes their skins? Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. Yeah, you just no, eat you them. ate yours. Yeah, yeah. You think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? 
Why don't you look at yourself and write down what you see? He's tried to test me. I ate his liver with yeah. some fava beans and a ah, nice candy. Okay. What? You fly back to school now, little Starling. Oh, he's not going to answer anything else today. Or maybe ever. Okay, well, this went well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go seek out Miss Muffet, an old patient of mine. Oh, no! Daddy! Hey, that was right. a flashback. Get in a bag, I say, Daddy. No, Angel, they all got away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was just loud. Just a loud noise. Miggs is dead. Dad? They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. What? Lecter did it to amuse himself. Moffat, any follow up on her? I looked in the phone book and there's a yourself storage facility. Oh no, what are we gonna find here? Miss Hester Moffat. So nobody's uh, been in here since 1980? Not to oh. my knowledge. Well, I think this is Hannibal's. Does she not have backup? I would want backup. Actually. Yeah, I would not want to check this out by myself at night. If this door should fall down or anything else, they know that you're with me. Don't do this. No. You need another person here. And also, maybe check it out in the daytime. Yikes. Is there a smell? A smell of dead bodies? No one could be in here, right? Because the door hasn't been opened in so long. The door's gonna shut. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ew. Okay. Okay, that's gross. The rest of me, meaning that you rented that garage? Where is he? Where is he? No. No, it's too dark in here. No, where is he? Mother trucker. Don't, 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 don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. You, he said not to grab anything that he gives you. Your what? bleeding is that. Oh, he was just helping you? He can smell the blood? His real name is Benjamin Raspell. I did not kill him, I assure you. Merely tucked him away very much as I found him. If you didn't kill him, then who did, sir? Best thing for him, really. His therapy was going nowhere. Oh. How did you feel when you saw him, Clarice? Scared at first, then exhilarated. Could we have turned the lights on earlier? What happened to your drawings? Punishment, you see. Migs. I've been in this room for eight years now. I want a window where I can see a tree far away from Dr. Chilton. I'm offering you a psychological profile of Buffalo Bill. I'll help you catch him, Clary. That voice. Uh, you know who he is, don't you? Our little Billy must already be searching for that next special lady. Oh no. Is this the next victim? I don't want to see this happen. I don't like these goggles. I don't like this little masky thing. Hey, I don't want cheaper. to see her die. Dang, this movie's going to make me scared to get out of my car at night. Don't. <laughs> no, this is a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap. This is a mother freaking trap. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Can I help you with that? No. No, this is literally a trap. Instead of uh, it's good. It's getting a truck, uh, I want to push it all the way up. No, you're about to get kidnapped. Or or died. At least kidnapped. That's great. Oh, you're gonna die. Hey, are you about a size 14? What? Why did he ask her size? Do, don't skin her right now. Uh, am I literally about to see him skin her while she's alive? Found a girl's body down in West Virginia. Been in the water about a week. Keeps him alive for three days. We don't know why. All the mutilation you see there is post-mortem. So what's the significance for the three days? That's Frederica Bimmel, the first one. After her, he got lazy. Jack Crawford, FBI. This type of sex crime has certain aspects I just as soon discuss in private. Oh, they're not letting her. Way to make it weird, boys. Oh, I see. Okay. I was like, whose funeral are we at? 
I assume that was her dad. Excuse me, gentlemen. There's things we need to do for her. Go on now. Let us take care of her. Ray. Is it because the body will smell? Like that's to cover it? Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't need it. Oh, they're, they are showing some of this. Ew. Two of her fingernails are broken off. It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. I could not do this job. She's got something in her throat. Lots of times there's like leaves and things in the mouth. I imagine it's not just leaves and things. I mean, it'll be and things, but... What? Is that a bug? That's a bug cocoon. There's no oh, way it is. get way down in there like that. Unless somebody shoved it in there. <gasps> Why? She'll be easier to print when we turn her over. What do you make of these? Oh, two large diamond-shaped sections above the buttocks. I told that sheriff we shouldn't talk in front of a woman. That really burned you, didn't it? Yeah. I had to get rid of him. Cops look at you to see how to act. Point taken. Mm. Still my turn. We're researching the bugs. Where the heck did this come from? It's Buffalo Bill, isn't it? I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about that. But I think it is. Boy, he's a big sucker. Uh, Ew. Ew. You ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer? Is this a pickup line? Are you hitting on me, doctor? Yeah, I think he is. Yes. Maybe now is not the time. Meet Mr. Acherontius Sticks, the death's head moth. From imported eggs. Uh, somebody grew this guy, Whoa. kept him warm. Somebody loved him. Okay. Oh, is this the serial killer's, like, place? Is this, like, Buffalo's, Buffalo Bill's lair? He has a dog, too? You don't deserve a dog. Oh, he's just keeping her in a well? What? This is the number for the U.S. Attorney's Office. Please, I think you discuss this with him. If your profile helps us catch Buffalo Bill, the Senator promises you a transfer to the VA hospital at Oneida Park, New York. And there you have it. Buffalo Bill case file. Copy of the Senator's offer. Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. Sounds charming. It's probably better than this room. If I help you, Clarice, it will be turns with us too. If I tell you things, you tell me things. No, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to tell him personal things. What is your worst memory of childhood? Death of my father. One night he surprised two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. They shot him. When he left me, I had nothing. I think it would be quite something to know you in private life. I don't want to know you in private life. She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. A butterfly? Yes. A moth. A moth. How would he know that? The significance of the moth is change. Our belly wants to change too. After your father's murder, you were often. I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband in Montana. How long did you live there? Two months. Why oh, so briefly? Not long. I ran away. Try to be a lot of things like his reflection. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had applied for sex reassignment. Billy hates his own identity, you see. <laughs> it rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Okay, okay. Moisturized? I don't know. What is happening? Oh, that's terrifying that she's just being kept in a well. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so much blood. I called Senator Ruth Martin. She never heard of any deal with you. They scammed you, Hannibal. Oh, it was all fake. There never was oh, a deal with Senator pen? Martin, but there is now. He's gonna get that pen. Who is Buffalo Bill? His first name is Lewis. Not that the rest of the senator herself, but only in Tennessee. Beat him up and get him ready to go. Beat him up? Is that what I think he's in? Did you have a trainee make some sort of phony offer to lecture in the senator's name? Well, she's mad as hell, Jack. Ugh, the mask is very creepy. Ah, oh, this is the creepiest he's ever looked. The sign right here will have us a legal transfer. Oh, he doesn't have the pen. <gasps> Oh, he has the pen. I don't know where it is, but he has the freaking pen. Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Hi, nice to meet you. I brought an affidavit guaranteeing your new rights. Let me help you now, and I will trust you when it is all over. You have my word, Paul. Buffalo Bell's real name is Louis Friend. How would he know this? I met him just once. He was referred okay. to me, murdered a transient, done things with the skin. Did you nurse Catherine yourself? What? 
Did your breasts feed her? That's a very weird question. Amputate a man's leg and he can still feel it tickling. When your little girl is on the slab, where will it tickle you? Take this thing back to Baltimore. What is wrong with you? He'd be about 35 now. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. Don't say something weird. Love your suit. Oh, you're just making all of this about yourself, okay. Access to Lecter is strictly limited. We've been getting death threats. You do know the rules, ma'am? Yes, Lieutenant Boyle. I've questioned him before. Oh, whoa. This whole room is just for him? Just reading. Just chilling. Good evening, Clarice. Good evening. I thought you might like your drawings back, Doctor. Or did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle? No, I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. <laughs> Pity about poor Catherine, though. Tick tock. No, the radiograms are showing, Dr. Lewis Friend. Iron sulfide, also known as, as fool's gold. Your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. Yeah, because you have a lot of fun in life, for sure. What is the first and principal thing he does? What needs does he serve? Sexual frustration. No, right. he covets. We begin by coveting what we see every day. Don't your eyes seek out the things you want? Why did you leave that ranch? Please listen to me. We've only got five. No, I will listen now. What set you off? I heard a strange noise. What was oh, it? This close up. Uh, some kind of screaming. What did you do? Oh, this is so close up. So creepy. I crept up into the barn. What did you see, Clarice? Lambs. They were screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs? I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. I took one lamb and I ran away as fast as I could. He was so heavy. I didn't get more than a few miles when the sheriff's car picked me up. What became of your lamb, Glory? I killed him. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? Hear the screaming of the lamb. Well, the movie isn't called The Screaming of the Lambs. The Silence of the Lambs. Do you think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again with that awful screaming of the lamb? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Glory. Now you have some information to give too. Are they going to get interrupted? I'll be pissed. Let's go. Tell me his name. Sorry, ma'am, I've got orders. Head put you in uh, place. She was so close before he rudely interrupted her. Okay, it's fine. Okay. It's fine, Clarice. Yeah, no. Maybe he wrote the name down somewhere or gave her a clue. I will say you're a very good artist. Congratulations on that. Ready when you are, Doc. Just another minute, please. Oh, something's gonna happen. Is he about to break out of here? Good evening, gentlemen. Same drill as before, please. What you gonna do? You're gonna have to move fast to do this. What? Are, oh my gosh, what are you about to do? Okay, so step one, get out of the handcuffs. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing right now. They're not gonna care about his drawings. Oh my gosh, the anticipation of this scene. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, <gasps> ow, ow. Oh, my, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ew, ew, ew. Oh, oh, that was a little gross. Oh, you're about to get knocked out. Are there cameras on him or anything? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, he definitely enjoys this. I would think he'd want to try to like get out of here right away. Ready when you are, Sergeant Memory. What are you gonna do to him? What is oh, there's this? There's a lot of security. I don't think he could get out of the building. Shots fired on five, repeat. Bobby, get the vest. I don't right think Campbell would be bold enough to go all the way Brady, down. Howard. With that many of them waiting. Seal off a 10 block radius. Give me the SWAT team and an ambulance double quick. I'm honestly surprised there weren't more guards on him. Oh. Oh, that's what he did. He definitely made a whole spectacle about it. Lecter's missing and armed. He's alive. What? Sergeant Tate. How is he alive? Remember, can How you hear me? He took How Boyle's he... gun. Looking good, Debra. You're gonna make it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Where? Is Hannibal? I'm on the elevator bringing Pembry down. We think he's on two. What? What? What is above them? What is above them right now? He's on the roof of the elevator. Is that confirmed? Or maybe he just put something? 
There's a gun by his hand. He's not moving. On the leg. I don't think that's him. Is that Hannibal? We've got grand mal seizure activity, but he's post now. That's Hannibal. I thought there was something that- I thought it looked like him! I literally thought it looked like him when he was lying on the ground! But I was like, no, that's stupid of you, Addy, that's stupid! Crew is dead. He killed a tourist, too. He won't come after me. Oh, he really? He a lot about you. He would consider that rude. Are you sure? He's here, Ardelia. That skin. That looks so Doesn't this random scattering of sight seem desperately random? Desperately random. Random because of the one girl. Frederica Vimmel. Right. First girl taken, third body found. What does this guy do? We covet what we see. You know her. My hands are a little sweaty right now. Ooh. Well, I'm Clarice Starling. I'm with the FBI. Frederica went into Chicago on the bus to see about a job. Her bedroom's how she left it. Everything is creeping me out right now. He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of real women. He has to keep them alive so he can starve them a while. Sterling, we know who he is and where he is. Run away right now. Are you sure? That's great news, sir, but how? Josh Hopkins came up with some names. Jamie Gum, a.k.a. John Grant. Live caterpillars from Suriname. See what you can dredge up in Belvedere. I'll do my best. Thanks for the scraps, asshole. I got a better idea. Is this the day he's gonna kill her? <clears throat> Come on, girl! Come and get it, pretty girl! Oh, is she planning on pulling the dog down? I guess that's what her plan is. <laughs> Didn't work. He has the start of a skin suit. Stacy, did Frederica ever mention a man named uh, Jamie Gum? No. Sewing was her life. She used to help her do alterations for old Mrs. Littman. Can you give me Mrs. Littman's address? I need to talk to her. Yeah, yeah. Down here, you sack of shit. Oh, she did get precious. No, you can't even help on Laura Dank, you're dead. She's in a lot of pain, oh mister. She needs a bed. Uh, I don't want to watch the edits. Don't you hurt my dog! Don't you make me hurt your dog! You can't shoot her right now. Now would be a bad time to kill her. Uh... Good afternoon. Um, I'm looking for Mrs. Lippman's family. Oh, they're not at the right house. I really need to speak with you. Oh my gosh, they're not at the right house. And she has no backup. She has no backup. Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. There's no one here, Jack. No. Clarice. Yeah, she's in Your trouble. Is? She's in danger. Oh, uh, Jack Gordon. Did you know her? No, I, I read about her in the newspaper. And Mrs. Lippman had a son, though. Maybe he could help you. I got, I got his card in here someplace. Come in while I look for it. Don't come in. Yeah. Don't come in. Don't go into the house. Oh no, and they are hundreds of miles away from her. Okay, this is good. Did she leave any records, any ax forms? Look behind you, look behind you. The police around here don't seem to have the first clue. I hope, I hope she's putting a few things together. Description yeah. for your friends, anything like that? No, I don't. Okay, she, okay. She, she realizes, good. Here's that number. He's about to grab a gun. Freeze! Put your hands in the oh, back! No. Thumbs up. No, no, and he's gonna grab the gun! He's gonna grab the gun! Oh! Oh, he's going downstairs? Oh, no. You need some backup! Oh, I am scared for you. Where is he? He, he could be behind either door. Either door. <sighs> Only a few minutes left. Only a few minutes left of this movie. Oh, it's too dark. He could be anywhere. He could be literally anywhere. Oh, that, that's the suit. That's definitely the suit. Oh my gosh, you should not be here by yourself. Catherine Martin! Yes! Oh gosh, FBI! Is, you're safe! I don't think you're safe yet. Oh, my heart is racing. Where the F is he? I'm gonna get you out of there, but right now, you listen to me. I've gotta leave this room. I'll be right back. The other officers will be here any minute now! 
that's not true, but that's good for him to think that it's true. Where is he? Where is he? There are too many doors in this dang place. He could be anywhere. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing. Ew. Ew, no. Oh, no, 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 no. He's in this room. He's in this motherfucking room. Oh, no. You. Oh my gosh, he might die. I don't know if he survived this. Oh, he's, he could touch her. He could literally touch her. Please sense that he's right there. He's right, mother. Oh, oh no. Oh no. No. Oh my gosh, she shot him first. Oh, you are so close to dying. You okay? No. Clarice M. Starling. Congratulations. My heart is still racing, but congratulations, I'm happy for you. I'm not much good at this kind of thing, so I'm gonna duck out of here. Thank you. Your father would have been proud today. Don't forget your phone call. Not Starling. Wild Clarice. Have the lamb stopped screaming? Don't bother with the trace, I won't be on long enough. I'm having an old friend for dinner. Is that? Yeah. Dr. Lighter. Oh my gosh, he's about to eat him. He's going to eat him! Oh my gosh. And that's how the movie ends? Okay. <sighs> I, I'm definitely freaked out right now uh, from the end. I guess, I guess I was just on edge for Clarice because I didn't know if she was about to die at the end because it looked like she was very much about to. <laughs> I'm glad I watched it. Oh, it was a, it was very well done. It was an incredible film. I don't think I need to watch it again. It was so creepy. Uh, I think just the suspense the whole time is really what got me. Like, I guess it wasn't as scary as I expected. Just very, very disturbing the whole time and just not knowing what's coming next. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I need to watch it again. Although, um, joke's on me because I do kind of have to watch it again while I'm editing this video. Wow, that was very intense. Honestly, I forgot that it was Odin himself who plays Hannibal Lecter. He was incredible, so creepy. His delivery of just all of his lines, so creepy. And that's the point. But, uh, like, it was just so different than obviously Odin, what I know him from. Fantastic actor, very creepy. Oh, uh, I truly, like, I walked into the movie thinking, oh, maybe because I know he's Odin, maybe that'll help me through it. No, it didn't help me through it. I completely forgot until I see his name uh, in the credits. <sighs> he's very creepy. So, uh, like, such, such a great movie that I don't need to see again. But acting, phenomenal. Um, the shots really just added to the whole suspense. Yeah, I need to watch something happy now. Something, I don't know what. Oh, well, that was The Silence of the Lambs. Again, I'm glad I watched it. It's such a, a classic horror thriller, psychological thriller. I can now say I have watched it, but wow, I am creeped out. I am disturbed. Thank you for watching along. <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.